Hi, good evening. My name's Simon Hater, and today we're going to be discussing how to update your Dell BIOS uh, on a Linux uh, desktop or server uh, without using a Wine method or a virtual box method or virtual machine. I'm going to show you how to make a boot CD. So you will need physical access to the machine. You also will need a copy of Windows in ISO format or um, or the i386 folder or just the CD itself. Uh, you don't need a valid license so you don't have to worry about getting a cracked copy. Just download the ISO from any way you possibly can um, and the method I'll be showing you doesn't use a license in any case. So basically what we're going to do, uh, I'm going to show you how to uh, get your BIOS, uh, the update for the your BIOS update from the Dell website. I'm then going to show you uh, a bit of software how to convert uh, a Windows ISO into a bootable ISO so you can burn it on CD or USB uh, and then you basically boot the machine up into the Windows environment and then apply the Dell update. Um, so first thing you want to do is um, you run a, run a command on the terminal within your server or desktop. Now for people using PuTTY like myself, you will have to go into um, Window and change lines of scroll back from 200 to 2000. The reason being is we're going to type sudo ls, uh, forget what the command is now, there we go, sudo ls hw, type in your password, give it a few moments. Scroll to the top, and as you see, if if I, if you are using PuTTY, you wouldn't normally be able to scroll this far uh, because it already do 200 lines by default. So scroll nearest to the top, and you want to grab the serial number, and I'll explain why, even though that you know the version of your Dell. So I'm going to load up Firefox. I'm going to type in um, the model of my machine, Dell Optiplex. 760 SFF BIOS update. Going to click that. Now you could just click uh, the BIOS here. However, I don't recommend it. The reason being is that Optiplex 760 is actually um, there's seven uh, four different versions of it. You've got the extra small factor. You've got the small factor. You've got the desktop, and I think you've got a newer version now. Anyway, but uh, in each of these machines, they can have one or two motherboards. So I'm unsure if that BIOS will do them all. The safe way uh, to do it is basically type in your tag number and then you know exactly uh, the right boss which it's giving you is the correct one so click download file looks exactly the same okay then what we want to do is locate our ISO file so if you do have uh, a win XP ISO you need to extract it if you've got the CD mounted or um, uh, mounted as an ISO or you've got the physical disk in the drive then you need to copy the contents into a folder so copy all of the CD into a folder like I have which is this folder here so I'm going to minimize that we now need to go and search for uh, UB CD4 it's called so UB CD4 go to that website click downloads click mirror click download Hi, right, so I'll just stop the video quickly and we'll resume once the download's complete. Hi, right, so welcome back. So that's now complete. So what we want to do is open the file location. Right click, run as administrator. Let's say yes. Let's install that. Next. I want to install it to a different folder, but you can install it somewhere, wherever you want. So click install. Give it a few moments to install. Doesn't take that too uh, that long. Let's close some of these windows down.
feel free to uh, skip this bit shouldn't be much longer now though Okay, you want to say yes, you want to calculate it from the MD5. Um, what I will say is during the installation I actually um, disabled uh, my antivirus wall uh, only because one of the applications uh, it reports um, it reports that it's got potential malware however you're not actually installing it to your computer so I wouldn't worry about it at all so uh, let's click next uh, see if there's a, a patch click yes but there isn't so fantastic now launch UBCD4 Win Builder so we do want to launch it I agree to the terms uh, search for installation now you could if you are using a Windows XP machine then you can search yes or if you do have the folder but I like to do it manually it's a lot quicker so I'm going to find the folder I got which is called uh, WinXP Pro and then go into that folder there now remember I said about the um, we downloaded the BIOS so what we want to do is we're gonna I'm gonna cut that go over to my WinXP folder make a folder called BIOS paste that in and then basically custom include files and folders from this directory so we want to tell it um, the desktop again in WinXP and in the BIOS folder so it's going to include our BIOS update um, it also wants to know where to store it so PE3 I'm going to put just for the time being now you can burn it straight to CD um, or you can um, burn it to ISO uh, ISO you can then burn it but and also by doing the ISO file you can also put it onto USB which I won't go into fully but I will um, tell you briefly and if you click plugins you can ask, you can see a vast amount of plugins uh, applications do get installed so you can use the CD to repair other Windows machines or just in case you need um, any other tool really so if you do want it to be slightly quicker or smaller on the ISO if you, especially if you're doing it USB you can go through disable anything you don't want so I, I'm going to leave it all default and all you do is click build so it doesn't exist do you want to create it yes I agree and that will take about three four minutes I'm going to stop that because I actually did it earlier close it down um, and basically just for the sake of this video I'm going to show you quickly um, it loading up in a VM which is just a virtual machine obviously I've already done this update to my Dell so I don't need to do it again so I'll show you via uh, a virtual machine but it's the same principle um, so you, you've got your boot menu this is what you'll get on the screen on your uh, Dell computer so we're going to go launch the CD from Windows. I'm going to leave that running and I'm going to briefly, whilst that's booting up, go load up another window and uh, show you how to pull it to um, USB. So I think it's called UM Booting. Yeah, it's called UNet Booting. So this is the software you want. So if you don't have a, a CD drive on the actual Dell computer, you can download um, this. So I'm going to click for Windows. I think this is the one that supports um, Windows. Um, well, you know, Windows boot disk. So let's see. What you'll find, because this is running the virtual uh, virtual, uh, virtual machine, you actually find that that is actually a lot quicker at loading up 
than um, what it is at the moment. So why didn't that work? That's odd. Ah, there we go. It's got the right file now. For some reason, I'm, I must have clicked something else. So I'm going to run that. Hopefully, it has Windows, which it doesn't. Ah, all you do is, sorry, all you do is click disk image, find your ISO. So in this case, uh, it's on the C drive. In that one there, and I think it's Bart PE. Somewhere, where did it pull it? Ah, I know where I put it. I put it on desktop and I put it in. I can't remember where I put it. But anyway, it does make the ISO file. All you do is uh, find the image um, and basically USB device and click OK. It will then put that ISO and make it bootable so you can actually boot from a USB. But um, but yeah, you can also do it from CD. Um, so I'm going to click uh, no support and I'm just going to quickly show you where the file is. So if I click my computer, you want to head over to X drive and there we go. There's our Dell BIOS update file. Double click that. Incompatible SMS BIOS table. That is because I'm in the virtual manager, uh, a VM player. Um, which is a virtual machine so obviously you won't have that problem and you'll be able to do your update um, I hope that solves some of your problems and I hope you enjoyed listening and I'll see you soon bye bye